Hey folks, Jay Barino here. Welcome back. Continuing Legends of Arcane's second orc book. We're on chapter 14, Coats of Gold. We did make it through the first enemy base at the end of the last video. If you missed it, about two-thirds of the way through, I did decide to start over. Made a cut so it was pretty seamless, but that was because I learned how to better manipulate the enemy AI air attacks, which was very, very important so I didn't have to keep my heroes back at home. So we're trying to push the battle line forward a little bit. We got these workers. The first thing that... I think I'm inclined to do is set up extra production. No, 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 look out, look out. We don't need to do that right now. We can hit that with our heroes. Uh, okay, so let's grab uh, barracks. And then spirit lounges or summoning circles, what have you. And then bestiaries. wherever, and then we eat altars. Then, we're gonna make a butt-ton of... What are we gonna make a butt-ton of? Something else. We're gonna make a butt-ton of... towers, as is typical. Okay, so let's heal up these dragons. I need to use the dragons to go and snipe artillery before we can really make any progress here, because we're kind of stuck in our base. All right, this is the perfect amount of dragons, I think. We do have incoming war golems, so let's get in there. We have a heal. We do have healing happening right now. Can we debuff these with Amari? No, that doesn't work. What de can we use any debuffs on these? Okay, back up here. Yeah, so I'm going to fly forward and kill these, kill these artillery units. This is really important. They have some additional stuff here. I'm just going to ignore it and really just go straight for the artillery. This is how we have to use dragons. Really just to snipe key targets. And I just can't afford to just let them sit there. And, and In terms of time, I can't afford to just let them sit there and take damage. So, again, if they die, that's okay. That's not really the most important thing. Okay, we're waiting on all of these. Uh, Bloodhound, yeah, just keep sending the, the, the anything with pillage we want attacking this stuff. Okay, heroes move up to the front. Okay, so we got those hotkeys set. Hotkeys, 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 hotkeys. Waiting on bestiaries next. Okay, so cool. So we're, we're all set here. Let's move these up. Again, my primary concern are going to be the air attacks. I... I do have some hotkeyed Warmax at home. I should probably get one or two more of these. Not too many. And do I need more towers at home as well? Hard to say. All right, see, the air attacks are actually coming from this direction, which is good. Which means we can tower spam this area with relative safety. Okay, let's wait for these dragons to get healed a little bit, and then I'm going to continue to... What is being built... Oh, okay, I think it's these these two fellas. That's not allowing these bestiaries to start. There he goes. Where's the other one? Is it just the same build? It doesn't matter. It's fine. Okay, so now I'm going to use these dragons. I'm going to pick off these towers that are sort of, like, hidden away. It's interesting that there are dwarven riflemen chosen of Hammerfall that aren't dwarven factions. They're golden guard factions. Anyway, I'm getting these turrets that are just sort of here. Look out, friends. Back up. And I'm just trying to clear the area out that's around here. All right, here are those super fancy towers as well. All right, take these out. There we go. Heroes, where are you? Just sort of clumping up. Uh, I mean, I could use my dragons to kill these as well. Let's come on down here, destroy destroy. Good start so far. I didn't get rolled over by a giant attack, which is what I was sort of expecting. It didn't happen, so we're in good shape. Okay, workers. You know what time it is. We, the best way to do this is to get very large groups of workers to do it all at once. So I'll probably focus on that in a, in a, in a bit. Okay, so five dragons is good. I don't think we ever need to go higher than this. This alone is 50 supply. By the way, low upkeep is only 80 supply on this map, which is awesome. So maybe if we can get down below that, that would be that would be very nice. Okay, so let's grab some Huntresses. 
Okay, so we've got three of every production structure, plus we have the altars. And now we just, I think we just really want to spam these towers. And I, I almost said let's not go overboard, but no, let's absolutely go a bit overboard. We want to secure this area before it's time to move on. That's very, very important. Uh, upkeep, we're in high upkeep, so it's like, do we bother building more stuff? Goddess, light my path. Okay, here comes Golden Guard. Make sure to throw down our healing wards as usual. Everybody get in there. Ooh, that's a lot of stuff. Hit the back lines. Again, the dragons, your job is to hit the back lines. And then we gotta tap through our heroes and just make sure that they're using stuff. Heroes seem mostly okay. Large group of destructors here. I think we want to back up a little bit. Just a bit. There doesn't seem to be a golden guard hero in here, though, so that's good. Okay, now turn and fight. I need to clear out this upper area if I want to realistically be able to, to do this. Grofzag needs to move back. Okay, pull him back into the towers a bit. Uh, I think we need to move these war mechs up now. And let's just keep throwing down heals because these destructors do like to focus down my dragons. As you can see, this one's gonna die. Almost got him out. I should have reacted faster as I said he was getting focused down. Okay, acceptable. You all back up. Four dragons is enough to continue sniping these individual towers. So we go this one, this one, this one. It looks like we're pretty clear to start moving up here. We need we need a, a location to be able to push forward into. As we get attacked. So like in that case, we engage them on the ramp. It's kind of hard to say if that was ideal. We're back in low upkeep, which I think is fine. I did build another war mech to leave down here. And I think it's time to bring that up further. I don't... I built this randomly. I guess we'll get some extra workers. And we're going to build more extra workers. Make it fast. You ladies come on down here and we're just going to attack our way through all these tents. Let us continue. I mean, before we push forward, we always have to destroy outlying turrets. It's absolutely necessary, specifically these uh, these artillery tanks. So let's take this out. So we just got hit with a Marin attack and a Golden Guard attack. We haven't seen Vendurus for a while. I think Praxius is out. Sometimes Shardundred likes to hide enemy altars and castles way behind other buildings to stop the player from sniping. Uh, it doesn't seem to be the case here. I don't know. Any little bit of additional attacks that we can get, I'll take. All right, so let's go ahead and set up uh, another line of turrets up here. Watch towers, because the, the dwarves may send air attacks from that direction. Um trying to think if we should get additional production. The thing is, like, I don't want to necessarily build this many units at once, so I kind of have to tab through separately, if you know what I mean. So, like, if I don't want to build three shield bearers, then I have to tab through it in a weird way. All right, everybody back up. Everybody back up momentarily. Give me a healing ward as usual. Then attack. Cause him to miss. Bring him into the towers. Crossex shout. Let's get our witch doctors back. I suppose we can land these guys for now, and let's hotkey them separately. Zarin is just a monster. This Overlord has a ton of HP and armor, so he can stay alive and ensure that we're getting that large amount of... Uh, make sure that we're getting that large, large amount of uh, bonus damage. Okay, so again, before we can move forward, we have to get in and kill these. Oh, and then there's flame towers as well. Anything that, like this that we can pick off with dragons first... Again, we want the dragons to be the vanguards to pick this stuff off, not not to be the things that we use exclusively to win. So we take off high priority targets with these things. I'm also stockpiling a lot of money, which I think is very important. Nice job, Hunter. You know what? This is fine. I you know <laughs> don't really need those anymore. They're just taking up supply. Okay, I saw another tank. We're just gonna dive in and hit these. Saint Sonara. Be gone, orcs. Do not defile this place with your vile presence. Okay, she seems pretty scary. Back up, dragon. She has a huge debuff aura slowing down our attack speed. 
Okay, let's back up. Again, I'm not I'm not cheesing with the uh, I'm not cheesing with the dragons. I'm just using them to pick off these high. I keep making excuses to make sure, like, hey, don't no, I'm not I'm not using the dragons inappropriately or in a boring way. I'm trying to I'm using them strategically. Uh, once again, we probably want to use the dragons to take those out. It's the it's the only way I should say to get rid of those. We got an incoming what is your will? attack up there. I'm not sure where my workers are that should be building these towers. Sometimes this happens where like you just lost I'm like I just lost specific units. Uh, I don't think we're gonna be able to get up there with Grossek to stun him. Yes, we can. Okay, good. I don't have any. I don't have any. Uh, I don't have any healing right now, so we just have to force our way through this. So this is where, like, I only want to build one Witch Doctor, so I have to deselect a lot of this stuff. Witch Doctor. Magi. Now we throw down a healing ward. I could probably use this group to start pushing up through this gate. Hello, did we throw down a, a ward? Where is... Oh, maybe he killed it. Maybe they've gotten smarter. Okay, let's take a moment. They did kill some of my dragons, but I'm in no upkeep, which is ideal. So this is my chance to start building those towers. Where are the workers that were originally slated? Uh, maybe they got stuck or something. I'm not sure. Okay, it looks like Blend's coming up here. You know what we saw worked? We can Howl of Terror these machines for some reason, but we can't use Shadow Corruption. I don't understand. It's fine, though. I think these Cleave Hand Revenges are Marin attacks, so he doesn't only send the air units. He does indeed send some other stuff. Uh, Casterkin are attacking, so we might as well go with them. Uh, never mind. This lady's got that ultimate that does a shit ton of damage, and I cannot get to her. I'm unable to get in there, so unfortunately, we gotta maybe let her burn this, and then we can always attack later. Okay, got here, and then we gotta remember to change my rally points up here. Okay, let's wait for some mana as well. And, I mean, I'm just going to make more ta- I want to fully secure this area, if that's not clear. It's very important to me that this stays secure. So, like, a huge alt could probably push through this stuff, but this is going to buy a ton of time. Okay, another air attack. Looks like I could certainly afford a, a few more dragons. This is going to put us into low upkeep, so it's like we might as well get another one as well. And then I'm going to grab Wardens, a couple Shield Bearers, but not too many. And then another Gladiator. Let's rally this stuff up. And yeah, I want to wait for some mana on my casters, and then I want to push up through the middle. Then we should be in good shape. Mr. Bloodhound, you did a good job. I'm proud of you. Get added to my group. Yeah, let's max out and go attack here soon. I mean, Grella's passive is actually quite significant. We haven't... Well, Marin did just attack us. So I was going to say, we haven't seen a large air attack for a while, but the dwarves just hit us with one, and Marin's stuff, I think, is gone. For now. What I... I could start hitting, like, this tower right here is going to be in a bad spot and challenging for us to get into. Pushing through this gate looks like it's going to be the next major hurdle. I don't know if I'm going to be able to complete this map in, you know, in this video or not. I'd like to think yes. If I'm losing my army, but we're, you know, pretty secure, then, and, and like, nothing's happening except me rebuilding, I may start making cuts. But I won't be afraid to make this into three parts if necessary. I think when I played this map as the uh, Iron Fist, it took me that long, so. Yeah, getting rid of these towers seems prudent, and I, I don't know if that, that one hero lady will be respawned or not, so, uh, all right, as long as they're... Yep, they're fine. Definitely worth killing these flame towers, if you ask me. I could also lure them out of the gate and then kill them there. I'm going to wait for another set of enemy attacks. That also seems prudent. So let's heal these up. Wait for my dragons that are being trained. There we go. 
Okay, so now we have five dragons, which again is pretty much the limit of how many I want to use. Inner fire, please. The only thing we could really add to this for extra buffs would probably be shaman. And then that ogre mage has pretty good survivability, so he'll be able to help us. I could dive in and, again, just hit more of the flame towers. I, I mean, again, the, the best use for the dragons, I think, is to hit any of these towers that are fancy, like Mondo Towers. I think that's what we have to hit. Because these just do so much damage, even to our heroes. Alright, get out of there. Uh, I want to wait for another attack, because I feel like we haven't been hit for a while. Um, I mean, I could layer more towers in here. Okay, I guess you guys come on back down here. Because we have to be able to lure these destructors into my towers. So I suppose we need to always leave... We need to always leave Warmax at home. Then we got a large one here. So give me a roar. Once this is dead, I'll feel comfortable going. Yeah, Warmax making their way. I could get one more. They're four supply though, aren't they? We're under attack. Yeah, they are. I can't quite afford them. And then we just have to keep remaking towers at this in this case as well. So you you guys just fly straight into the towers. Yeah, there we go. Force them to attack the towers. That's that's the best thing we can do. Yeah, come on out down here. There you go. Okay, now the Warmex can help. And they're gonna they're also manipulated into hitting the repairing workers, which I like. I wanna rebuild some of these. I'm not gonna start now though, because the destructors will just uh annihilate anything new that we're building. Alright, so we have to get in here. Speak your mind. Let's get the dragons in there. We need Groff's egg in the front so we can stun that ultimate that we've seen a couple times. Or maybe she can't use it currently. Nope, there it goes. Can we? Yes! Yes, okay, we stopped it. That's probably the most important thing that needs to happen to you in order to push through this. Give me a roar. They're clumping up, so our dragons are doing a huge amount of damage. And just keep hitting her with a rock. I wonder if this lady respawns. Okay, once we kill her, we're gonna back up because I have to pick off this artillery with an air force. I could use harpies as well. That actually might be more efficient. Oh, she has resurrect. Cancel that. Let's let's make sure she is dead. Okay, dragons, let's uh Oh dear, those are like way up there. Okay, don't please don't. Please don't. Please don't. Please don't. Please don't. <laughs> please. Shield bear, no. Well, that puts us into low upkeep. Okay, well we got one of them. It's these these awful fancy towers as well. We might as well sack these dragons to try to pick these off. Here come the dwarves. Okay, give me a heal. We gotta we gotta individually pick these off. Again, I'm gonna lose these dragons, but I can remake them. I'm not concerned about that. Put me into no upkeep. Okay, that's another one down. Let's go for the artillery, and again, that that I feel that this stuff is essentially forfeit, but that's okay. Okay, back line is getting roasted. I need Let's get more witch doctors just in case. Whoa! Would you look at that? A bunch of thieves and thugs on my doorstep. You may have stolen an early design of the destructors, but the newer ones will easily deal with you. We only took your flawed design and improved it. I'll do the same with your cannon. Okay, finally he's dead. You're more likely to blow yourself up, goblin. Now, time to crush your you insects into your and your primitive weapons under the might of my war machines. I mean, you've already been doing that, dude. You've already been... It's been quite overbearing, <laughs> is what I'm saying. With your, with your war machines. Are they stuck? Is that why? Yeah, it looks like it. Oh dear. I don't have any uh, AoE. Or uh, healing, I should say. 
Let's use it all. Let's use a... Uh, we gotta use her ultimate. Roar. Okay, that was necessary. Do I have the dragons coming out? I do. Let's get up to five, as we've been doing. And then... Do I have any new witch doctors? I do. Okay, great. So let's throw down a heal. I think we're making solid progress. We just have to very we have to be very meticulous. That's the difference here. Like I want to go faster, but we just can't. We are relying on dragons, but not to push into the bases and snipe production structures. It's mostly to snipe the defensive structures that stop me from being able to properly push into a location, which I think is I think it makes more sense. Okay, so waiting for these dragons and then our war mechs are going to stay down here. Mr. Gollum, you can come up here. Again, it seems like they're going to continue sending random waves down in this direction, so it doesn't hurt to have additional towers. Okay, cool. And what do I want to focus on next? It's hard to build anything out of the Beast series because, you know, we're constantly building dragons, which take a very long time to build. We're going to get another gladiator and a, a mauler, just some frontline support. And then, why don't we grab a set of headhunters and then a couple bloodhounds. Uh, once our our other two dragons are out, I'm going to continue sniping and we're just going to hold on our towers. I, I was also engaging a lot of stuff with without the cover of towers. Here goes Blen. Let's see what direction he goes, and maybe I can use the dragons to support him, but I wanna, I'm wanna i going to leave my heroes here for now. So he's just, he's just trickling in with some elites. That's acceptable. Here come Cleave Hand Revenges. They really like tar they, they really, they prioritize air units more, it seems like. Yeah, get him, Rock Golems. Rock Golems versus pathetic machines. The power of nature. Okay, there he goes. He is going... I mean, he's going to need support from the artillery again. There's, It's everywhere. That's the other problem. It's very, very tough for me to make progress with that artillery literally everywhere. Okay, so I think we have to dive in and clear out the area around the purificator first. That's, that's target one which is probably going to result in more deaths of dragons, but that's okay. Again, they're easy to rebuild, and I have a lot of money. I've been made, I've sort of been min-maxing my, my money, which is super necessary. This poor guy's trying to rebuild or repair. Oh, my God, Flea. It, you know what? We killed the... Um, we killed the... The artillery, which is all I really needed to focus on. Now, I'm going to continue getting vision here. We gotta kill all of these. There are more of these large art. Ah! Ah! Flee! That was bad timing. Bad timing, so let's start one more dragon, and then what do we need? Probably more casters. Ogre Mage, I get added. I like stacking up these wardens, or not mystics, uh, wardens, because if I overbuild them, then they're, you know, they're on heal, which is fine. Yes, come into my. Get massacred. Trying to rush a map like this is what leads to huge amounts of salt. So that's why I'm trying to take it easy here. What was that? Was that... I just saw Marin run in and just do some giant AoE that killed a bunch of my stuff. What the hell? I'm actually a little mad about that. Okay, so you all turn on inner fire. That, I'm, I'm still a little upset about that. All right, let's grab some shield bearers. And we need some solid backline support, so let's go marauders. Let's take these fellas and start killing the tanks along the bottom here. I saw some more of those turrets as well. Where was that? Down here. So if we want to go for the golden guard next, it's going to require us to dive pretty deep in order to kill the cannons that are further in. Let's not accidentally run into a... Let's accidentally not run into, like, a huge group of, uh, dwarven flying units. Why they were down here, I don't know. That was weird. 
Looks like we ran into a Marin attack as well. Might as well pick off what we can. And then flee. I keep losing individual dragons because I'm attacking at just the worst time constantly. I mean, I could just... I might just have to run into this base, which is scary because it's it's not it's as we try to run through here there's artillery up on this area which is impossible to get to without flyers. What are you looking at? And that's the challenge. Apparently my witch doctors are dead. I don't know how that happened. Where well, I guess heal for now. Where did that air it is? I was going to say where the heck is my that air attack? Give me a roar and then back up. You guys attack. Oh god, I can't. I don't know where he is. Back up into the towers, please. I, I can't see where he is. My heroes are gonna die here. Use your ult, please, quickly. Okay, I think we forced him to cancel it. Uh, I don't have enough for a heal, though. Okay, he stopped using it at least. Hit him with a rock just for good measure. I think we gotta use, um... Oh, she's way back here! No! I can't, I just, I'm never really paying attention to that. Like, where are they at that moment? Make more dragons. Pushing back these attacks, though, obviously, key. Is that a resurrect or just a mass heal? I don't know. Just keep shouting. Oh, that's right. We can't uh, we can't hit these air units with um, Amari's abilities, which would be almost too good. We didn't lose any heroes though, which is excellent. We did lose dragons, so we're going to be unable to continue our pickoff, which is frustrating. I guess I need more bestiary so I can continue building other units on the back end of this. Not thrilled with that. That's the only thing, they take so long to build. So long to build. Let's get a couple brawlers. They're, nah, no. <laughs> no, low upkeep, please. Okay, witch doctors, good work. This is helpful. Every little bit. Here, red dragon, go down and help him. Yeah, these, we have to get rid of these, but more importantly, we have to get to the runs, ones that are further back. Because again, as we try to push through this gate, the stuff on the high ground is gonna massacre us. I mean, the, the defending armies are strong enough. I, I can't really focus on dealing with any of those. Was there something on the ground? No, okay. Thank you, Pegasus. Oh, he's got a destructor here, too. That's very helpful. Destroy and destroy. I'm thankful that these things are stuck in place, like they're sieged up, so I don't have to... Uh, I don't have to... How may I serve? Worry about... Uh, what you uh, where's your where are the wardens? There we go. Work complete. Them running away from me is what I was trying to say. Okay, one more. God, those... What are these? Energy towers. Just arbitrarily stronger <laughs> stuff. Okay, here's the free star fall. Just kill this artillery and then we're going to leave. Yeah, at this rate, this is almost definitely going to be two more parts. But it's also because stuff is constantly happening. It's not... I, I, I don't think this is really a, you know, a boring situation. This is pretty tricky. It's just now we got to get in there with these dragons <laughs> and try to make it work. All right, wardens, heal up my, my guy. Never mind. Inner fire. Go down a heal. Heroes first. Roar before you die. Did he do it? No, I think he got stunned. No, he got it off. Perfect. Okay, great. I get some Magi. Zarin. Monster Zarin. We are killing some of our only our frontline stuff with splash damage, but we don't have much fragile stuff that's in there. This rock golem is still alive. I'm so proud of him. Okay, red dragons. Let's try one more dive in. We killed the artillery down here. The energy towers. Eh, it's going to be its own. Oh, my God. Flee. The energy towers are going to be its own set of problems. Let's back up to our towers to deal with this. This stuff's going to get roasted by towers. Okay, yeah. Draw them a little bit closer where possible. Again, force them 
into the towers. My heroes can help deal with this. What are you guys doing? They want to get up the hill, that's why. I had Warmex hotkeyed? I must have overwritten it. There we go. Warmex. Okay, you all go back to base. Again, we're gonna we're gonna pretty much duck straight up into this high ground area right here. Which is pretty deep, but again, we have to kill any artillery that's there. I guess I don't have to, I just have to tank it and lose a bunch of stuff, but I'm trying to be tactical here. Destroy, destroy, destroy. Up here is out of the question, because that's Marin, I think. I could probably leave the energy towers alone. Okay, you fly away, friend. I was, gonna, I was gonna say, he's still gonna get picked off. Wow, that guy just got blown up. What was that? And then there's, there's even more up here. Wow, this is gonna this is gonna be tough. We might have to draw the armies out to kill them. Okay, let's back up. I lost one dragon or two dragons. I'm rebuilding more of them. So let's see if we can get yeah get these out. Wardens, let's put you on inner fire. We have two witch doctors. It probably would be safe to get one more because they tend to die. And then, maybe just more typical frontline stuff. Like, I think. You seek me out? I think, yeah, we need frontline in this group. We do have one gladiator and a mauler. More of that would be fine. All right, scare the monsters, because apparently that works. <laughs> all right, you all go. This is a large Marin attack, I think. I think this is Marin. You can tell because they're not quite yellow, they're like the paler color, which is like peach. This stuff gets uh, roasted by towers, which is great. Uh, okay, so we have to poise ourselves to attack into Van Durs, which is horrifying in its own special way, because the dwarves could always flank us. I think Petchen, I, I put a, I did put a, a thing on Petchen, like a, a scroll, didn't I? Well, let's get up here and, you know, kill the, kill the farms. I have so much money, we just have to keep this push on constantly. It's the only way. Get on up there. You seek me out? Tell me I said. Okay, we have three witch doctors now. That's acceptable. I'm killing these random farms so that my other units don't get distracted as we try to run in there. Man, I keep thinking, like, I gotta destroy the energy towers. I gotta destroy all these powerful things. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna draw the defending army down to engage us before we move up and go for the towers. And in fact, hitting these farms is gonna do just that. Okay, kill the Arcanist. Gonna dive in and hit this artillery again. Naturally, we have an attack coming at us at this moment. Oh god, yeah, this is bad positioning. I can't get to him to stun him out of that. Everybody back up. If we can engage them at the bottom of this ramp, that would be way more acceptable. You all gotta back up behind this stuff. Get in there, dude. Now we gotta start using some big ultimates. Okay, Grella's gonna die soon, but this is buying a ton of time. Dragons hit this back line. Grella's dead, that's okay. Expected. And we want to be following up on this. Roar again. Uh, no, I think we lost. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell. More healing. Debuff. Individual air units are tough. Hex Van Durs, I guess. Okay, so what do we do to follow up on this? Bloodhounds, shield bearers. Um, marauders, rock golems, witch doctors. Part of the issue here is 
sort of continuing this push now. I don't think we're going to really be able to. I shall not fear. Did get attacked up here, and it looks like it turned out fine. Let's go ahead and grab a bunch of extra workers to sit up here and repair. Once again, we just have to kill this artillery. <laughs> okay, run away. Are they are they really trying to attack me now? <laughs> what a bunch of dicks! All right, we got a, we've got uh, reinforcements coming in, and then I never started rebuilding Grella. Okay, impalers, please. And we're waiting on mana on these witch doctors, which are they're all very very close. Come on, right there. Okay, let's get healed up. Here come some reinforcements. Let's get two more dragons. Yeah, Van Dorse is just very, very, very strong. Which, I mean, he should be. Speak your mind. He's a beefy boy. Uh, we need more. Another magi, magi. This is what I was afraid of happening. Let's get the war mechs up here. We're going to have to lure these into our towers. I could always back up. Uh, okay, so once again, dragons, we're going to move in. We're going to try to pick off what we can. Alternatively, I could just attack with my units. We took out most of their static defense, it looked like. Here comes Blend. Maybe he can help us. Rock golems, go. Actually, we can use the rock golems to lure them in. Back him up. Vandurus using his ultimate again. We're going to force him to waste it, so let's back up a little bit. Okay, debuff. We're going to heal. Maybe a, a stasis ward would be proper here. And let's. Ah, there is no back line really to hit. Uh, yeah, thanks, uh, Blen. Helping us out a little bit. I mean, he's probably going to die here, but that's okay. I mean, is it? Is it okay? I don't know if that's the right word I'd use. Um, shield bearers. I'm going to make maulers. More rock golems, I'd say. And then more healing. Constant healing. We've got to kill Van Duris, and then we're going to try to push back up into this base. They may have been re be able to rebuild a lot of their pre-placed defense. Another resurrect. It's very frustrating. Jesus. <laughs> I think I'm too close to their base and I can't make any solid uh, solid progress. Okay, just keep sending stuff. Very important. I'll even make some demolishers this time. Bury it up a little bit. Okay, we gotta come up here and kill these random placed towers. Everybody go. Give me a uh, healing ward right there. Move in. Nope, here come the dwarves. Van, um, not Van Dwarves, but uh, Blen will be able to help with that at least, and they're going to run into my towers. All right, let's back up a bit. Grafstag is dead. Again, it's, it's a, there's a lot to pay attention to during all of this. It's really hard to believe that a lot of this is exclusively their defensive forces, but I, I don't know. Once again, we're just going to pick off the stuff that's going to stop my units from being able to get into this base for later. This is, um, it's starting to feel a bit like Mission 6. I'm sorry, Mission 5? No, it was Mission 6, the Castle Siege. Because that's essentially what this is. It's a nightmare of a siege. I also have a ton of... I just have so much uh, money that, like, there's no way we could lose the economy game. It's just, you know, keep staying alive with all this other stuff. It's just like staying alive through this, but again, this is another situation where I, I can't imagine where I'm, I'm going to lose. <laughs> it's... Alright, we flanked him. Kill a Horgar, piece of garbage. Your stupid runes. 
He drops a healing rune. We gotta be on the lookout for that. So it's been 40 minutes, and I feel like we've made virtually no progress, but that's because these positions are, like, so fortified. I think the addition of those... Were those super powerful towers in Second Human Book? I vaguely think they were. But I also think in Second Human Book, I used almost exclusively air to snipe, which is what I'm doing here. It's kind of funny how this is... Uh, almost exactly how I played that one. We just have to keep killing artillery. I want to be able to attack into this base without a shit ton of super powerful towers attacking me. That's kind of the key, or at least what I'm trying to do right now. So we attack this super powerful thing. There's more. They're everywhere. See, the defensive force is not what concerns me. What it is, is we have to we have to draw out the enemy units and kill it and then be able to make progress before everything starts going south. A and we get attacked on the other hand, on the other side of this. Uh, just stun him, Grav said, you're right in the front. I immediately lost my witch doctors. They were just kind of standing there in the front. Stunning him. Catch it, catch him, catch him, please. <laughs> please. Meanwhile, my dragons have not quite destroyed this thing. This might be the last one that'll that stop me from getting into the entrance. It's hard to say, like, the dwarves have two heroes. As far as I can tell, the golden guard only has one. So I don't know if maybe attacking this way is the right thing to do see Blen going again. I do like how Blen is attacking fairly frequently. Okay, let's back up here. Stop, stop, stop. That was a bad rally. That was my fault. Entirely my own fault. Let's get two more Witch Doctors. And then Wardens. Cannons have really been doing it for us. Cannon towers, or watch, well, you know, our, our fancy watchtowers, I should say. Okay, let's let's get this army back up to up to snuff. Uh, the thing is, we're gonna have to do this. It's not just it's not just Van Duris's base. We're gonna have to do the same thing with the. Uh, we're gonna have to do the same thing with the dwarves. It's gonna be just as bad on their ramp. I guess the only issue is we're never gonna have to fall back to defend against the to defend against the the golden guard. So there's that. It's just it's just real slow going. And again, it's all about timing. We have to be able to pull out their defensive force and kill it while also not dying at home or running into an attack wave on the way or having our rallying units run into an attacking wave along the way. So uh, unfortunately, I think we just have to wait for a while until we get attacked again. So like here, the here's a Dwarven attack. Okay, so I'm gonna get gladiators and shield bears for the front. We have a pretty strong back line. Let's get crazy and get a bunch of marauders. Okay, so that attack was good. Just continually build workers here. And in fact, I can build workers from this location and send them all the way up here too. Okay, let's sit and get healed here for a moment. Shaman. I, I'm gonna wait for whatever the next ground attack is, and then I'm gonna go and try to ex execute this plan. And also keep in mind that we have to try to do this with our uh, uh, rebuild our defense as well. We have to rely on our defense. Okay, just keep sending workers down here to repair. Again, they're we're at a stalemate. They're never gonna be able to break through. And I just have to constantly chip away. And I think a big key of it was getting rid of all the shit that was along the edges here. And now that that's all gone, we should be able to push into this bottom base and find... There's there's his uh, actual castle, which is walled in with farms, which I find funny. 
Okay, so I'm gonna bring that while we wait again. I'm waiting for an enemy attack. We don't need the dragons to defend against that I think I did I just pull my guys off gold. I hate when I do that While we wait again, I'm just gonna wait for kind of a convergence of attacks so that we, we're free to do it and then one healing one round of healing after that we should be good to go so we're gonna go for this super tower and then the there's one artillery piece down there the important thing is we also got rid of a lot of the high ground defense and the artillery up there so i think at least on the golden guard side of things we're in solid shape and then and i made this mistake when i play the second human book but after that rather than going for marin we're gonna go for the dwarves and we want to basically isolate marin because he somehow is stronger than van Duurs. I don't know why, but but Marin is stronger than Mendurus. And uh we we just again we just have to isolate him. He had that giant nuke, remember when he just like blasted the ground. Alternatively, again, I can use the dragons to snipe the production. Uh I, I always want to keep a pretty large standing army though, so like this group is where it needs to be. I could suicide these armies too. Like I have so much money, I could afford to rebuild them. That's another artillery gone. Once again, I think I overwrote my hotkeys. Uh, this is okay. We're just going to have to send the dragons to deal with the destructors because I have no units. We're going to run out of... We're not going to run out of money, but we're going to run out of... Uh, we're going to run out of... Is this a stacked attack? No, I don't think so. All right, shout so that they're doing their thing. More destructors are chasing us across the map. All right, so for these things, just run straight by them. This is exactly the kind of attack I was waiting for, so let's send all these fellas up. Golden Guard doesn't attack me for a while. We also have to get through that choke point in order to, to stop Van Doors from casting that ultimate, which is also a real challenge. Okay, over here. And then... We got a group of units here. Let's bring them up. Okay, so we need to... We need to bring the defensive force from this base down to us. I don't want them to have the high ground advantage. Okay, yeah, come down here. That is such a large amount of units. That's insane. Okay, my other units are on their way. Heroes get in the front. Did they pull back? I mean, I'm comfortable engaging them up there. That's the thing. We've cleared out enough space that I think I, I actually can. Just need to get our healers up there. Let's bring everyone in. Hi. Okay, huge debuff there. Drop sag. We gotta use... Everything. Everybody move in. I have to hit this guy with a rock and I can't get to him! There we go. Okay, big. Roar. This is probably worth a stasis ward too. Keep debuffing Amari. I'm gonna use uh, Grella's ultimate. Where is she, actually? She wasn't even close by, I don't think. Why does this keep happening with her? Where is she? Oh, she's dead already. I see. That's why. That makes sense. I can't complain about that. Uh, Amari wasn't under a healing ward. Oh my god. <laughs> the amount of stuff they have here. I think we may have to indeed use the... Uh, use the dreaded dragons. And then naturally we get attacked by the dwarves too. I think we're going to have to um, snipe. Which is funny because I specifically played this a second time to not do that, but I think we're gonna I think we're gonna have to, which is you know not a good feeling. But uh, wow, that I mean that's more than 120 supply of units in that base. There has to be. All right, and then this idiot. I can try that one more time. It's definitely doable, but you, again, you need the timing to be like impeccable. Like, your timing really needs to be almost perfect. Uh, you know, they also had an attack wave in their base that they hadn't hit us with for a while, so it's just kind of, um, you know, whatever, whatever. Let me make a 
you know what? No, this is a good spot to end. I was going to make a cut while I rebuilt my army, but, um... Again, it's right there. I mean, I, if we're so close, it would be relatively easy to snipe with dragons. It's, you know, getting in here, there's all these buildings. The second you attack one, their defensive force comes out, but they didn't come out down the ramp where I wanted to engage them. So we have to, like, move all our units up here, but the second one of them that moves up there attacks a building, that huge group of units is going to come and attack us. So it's a very, very tricky situation, and it's just the layout of this fortress is, you know, it's purposefully... Um... It's purposefully made to make it very uncomfortable to push in. So, you know, I can't in good faith say it's fun, but, you know, it is what it is. We'll do it next time. See you later. Bye now. Whoa.